Welcome back. So in today's episode, we're going to take a look at two of the most diametrically opposed bikes in the Super 73 lineup. One, we have their most aggressive, which is the Super 73 RX, and we have the least aggressive, which is the PSGX. So there are some reasons why you would want to get either or both. We're going to take a look at the technical aspects. We'll see where they are the same and where they differ, and that's coming up. Hey, what's up guys? This is Hervé from Hervé's World, showing you that IT means I try. If you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to subscribe. So on this channel, we do unboxings, desktop support, life hacks, actual hacking, and tech reviews of great products. Well, we're all waiting for our new Super 73 lineups to be coming very, very soon. Now, on this channel, we do a lot of electric vehicles, electric bikes, electric skateboards, electric cars. Today, we're gonna to pit two of the best Super 73 latest entries. We have the Super 73 RX versus the PSGX. We're gonna take a look at the technical aspects and differences of each and why it may be a good case to get one or the other or rather both. Anything we discuss in this episode, you'll find right on the bottom right over here. Let's get this comparison started. I bring to you the battle of the diametrically opposed the most aggressive versus the least aggressive. Let's get this. So in this video, we're gonna take a look at the following. And there's a reason why I'm doing this comparison. It's to make sure that you guys understand that the DNA of quality, strength, and build goes through the lineup that they have, whether it's the smallest, least aggressive bike to the most aggressive. The DNA and lineage of good quality streams all the way across. So we're gonna take a look at the battery, the motor, the range, the charge time, suggested ride height, connectivity, ride modes, throttle, pedal assist, brakes, the light kit, frame material, front fork, rear shock, tires, fenders, the colors, the gearing, the passenger rear weight, rider, weight limit. Let's go take a look. Okay, so let's talk about the battery. So on the Super 73 RX, you're gonna get a 960 watt battery. On the PSG or the Z1, you're gonna get 418 watt hour. Let's take a look at the motor. So on the RX, you're gonna get 1200 watt nominal 2000 watt peak. And on the Z1, the PSG, you're gonna get 500 watt nominal, 900 watt peak. So smaller bike, but you're still getting a very efficient uh, power source. Okay, for the range on the RX, you're getting 40 to 75 miles. And on the range of the Z1, you're getting 15 to 25 miles. Okay, let's talk about the charge time. So on each bike, it's five to six hours. So the suggested ride height on the RX is 5.3 to 6.8. On the Z1, it's 4.6 to 5.11. So it's a little cramped if you're a little taller, but it's still, you're able to ride, just your knees are gonna be a little uh, tight. Okay, so let's talk about connectivity. On the RX, we have Bluetooth Smart Display, Super 73 app compatible. You get optional GPS, anti-theft, and security module. And there's no connectivity on the Z1. Okay, let's talk about the ride modes. So on the RX, you get four different classes. Class one, two, and three adhere to state and global regulations. And the unlimited mode has you going 28 plus miles an hour. Ride modes on the Z1, there are no ride modes. It's one gear, it's a thumb throttle, there's no pedal assist. Okay, so are both bikes using a throttle? Yes, they are. Now, let's talk about the pedal assist modes. So on the RX, you're getting Eco, Tour, Sport, and Super mode. On the Z1, 
it's only one gear. Okay, let's talk about the brakes. So on the RX, you're gonna get a four piston hydraulic 203 by 180 millimeter rotors. And on the Z1, you're getting a mechanical 160 by 160 millimeter rotor. So let's talk about the light kit. On the RX, you're getting a light kit. I will include it here. And on the Z1, there's no light kit, but there are aftermarket methods that I will include on the bottom. Okay, let's talk about the frame material. So on the Z, on the Z1, you're using steel, and on the RX, you're using aluminum. So different disciplines here, different approaches. Um, one is rigid, one is uh, not malleable, but it's gonna provide a uh, stronger ride. Uh, it's not gonna rust, it's not going to fare, and uh, you're gonna be really good. Okay, so let's talk about the front fork. So on the RX, you're getting an inverted coil spring suspension fork with air assist. Adjustable preload and rebound damping, 120 millimeters of travel and 35 millimeter tensions. And on the Z1, it's a rigid steel. However, you can add the uh, accessory a front fork that they have and it makes a world of difference. I have a lot of friends. Let's talk about the rear shock. So on the RX, you're getting a coilover, piggyback monoshock, adjustable preload, compression, and a rebound damping. There is no rear shock for the Z1. Okay, let's talk about the tires. So on the tires on the RX, you're getting the Badger tire. These are all terrain, 20 by 4.5, in front and 20 by five in the back. It's a custom motorcycle and bike tire that was made for the new lineup, um, specifically the R and the S's. So let's take a look at the Z1. You're getting a 20 by 4.25 street tire. Now the fat tire is very, very good because you're going to get a lot of uh, road uh, softening. You're gonna get be able to take over some bumps. So you go, you'll see the option with the big tires on the Z1. Okay, let's talk about the fenders. On the RX, you have fenders. And on the Z1, these are optional. Okay, let's talk about the colors. So on the RX, we get the classic Rhino Gray and the Carmine Red. On the Z1, we have an assortment of colors. You have white, jet black, steel blue, astral orange, and millennial pink. Okay, let's talk about the gearing. So on the gearing, on the RX, you're getting a single speed, optional, 10 speed Shimano. But on the Z1, it's a single speed. It doesn't require anything greater than that because of the size and the weight. Okay, so let's talk about the passenger rear assist. So on the RX, you're able, you have yes, it's an optional two seat, and you have passenger foot pegs. On the Z1, you don't have it. I've seen people add foot pegs on the back and have a rider on there, but you're gonna be tight when you're riding. Okay, let's talk about the bike weight. So the RX comes in at 80 pounds. The Z1 comes in at 64 pounds. And let's talk about the rider weight limit. Um, on the RX, it's 325 pounds. And on the Z1, it's 250 pounds. Now, that's really good. Now, on the RX, you get a bunch of different applications. You're gonna get the app ready. You're gonna get turn-by-turn -turn navigation. You're also going to get a lot of different features with the RX that you're not gonna have to get with the Z, but let's go talk about, let me show you my bikes and we'll take a look. Now, why would you get the RX and why would you get the Z1. Well, I ended up getting 
the V2, and the Z1. For me, I wanted something more aggressive. So the V2 is one of 50, and it's done me really, really well. Uh, but my wife doesn't really ride, so I wanted to get her something that's not as scary. So the Z1 over here is more of an entry bike if you're looking for somebody that's not really riding but wants to cruise, and you guys can have fun. That's the entry bike that I would look at. Um, if you're a little bit more experienced, I would say get the S2, but that gives this video different perspective. Why would you get diametrically opposed bikes? And this is one of the cases. So um, this one here is gonna go to uh, somebody else. Somebody's already uh, claimed this. So we're going to do an upgrade of our fleet. So I'm getting the RX. I may get the S2, but we'll see what's going on. So if you guys have any questions on the ride capabilities, you wanna see some videos of the riding the V2 or the Z1, let me know on the bottom. Which bikes are you guys getting? And which bike would you get? Would you get the RX or the PSGX? Let me know on the bottom. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Stay safe. Peace.